There are several reasons why Mount Rainier is one of our favorite national parks. But I gotta tell you, July 23rd is one of them. Well, it's just about two o'clock on Sunday, July 23rd, and we are setting out, whew, almost tripped, for a surprise or unexpected turn of events. So we booked a couple nights unexpectedly on the Mother Mountain or the Spray Park Loop. We have reached what I'm assuming is the spray park area of this park or hike and it's really extending for quite a while. We're obviously still climbing into it. The mountain is not out, a sign of the impending weather that's coming tomorrow, but the wildflowers are out and it is so pretty up here even without the views of the mountain being complete. So, yeah, glad we came back and saw more of this park. How's the snow? five of what we think is about a seven mile backpack to get to our campsite. We really didn't know what to expect today, go figure. Um, but man, did this park deliver. Um, I think it's a really good contrast that shows like how rugged North Cascades is and how much information we have to have to do well there compared to here at Mount Rainier. It's like we can just show up pick a trail and it's maintained um, there's tons of access to rangers who can tell you about conditions if you want to there's tons of trail reports for it i mean the downside i guess is that you're really not alone very often out here but it is really awesome for getting beautiful miles done
The mountain is out. She is pretty. We are hiking down from Spray Park along sort of on the outskirts of Seattle Park, somewhere around here, and just making progress. There are some miles that are slow because they're hard. There are some miles that are slow because we're having a bad day. A lot of times those are related. And then there are miles that are slow because it is so freaking gorgeous that we just have to keep stopping to take it all in. And today has been that. So amazing. Good morning. It is day two of our return to Mount Rainier backpack. We packed up camp pretty early, left just shortly after six. Today is a day where we don't exactly know what to expect, specifically weather-wise. We know there's a good chance that we will experience rain today, but we don't know how much and we don't know when. So we have our pack covers and our rain jackets accessible and we think we will be able to make it to our second camp and set up our tent before the worst of the rain. This means we'll be able to store our belongings like our dry clothes and our quilt inside the tent while we do some more hiking today. It is about five miles to our next campsite. We're headed to Ipsit Creek which is at the very end of the Carbon River Trail, which is a hike bike path on an old dirt road. Rumor has it that um, the Ipset Creek Camp used to have like flush toilets and everything, like it used to be a real campground, but that those days have long passed. So we'll see what it looks like when we actually get there. Um, we are gonna be crossing a suspension bridge on the Wonderland Trail. I knew we were at the bridge because he turned around and gave me a smile. We saw the mountain today. It came out behind the clouds for a little bit. You can see that there's a good layer of cloud surrounding it. So if you're close to it, you actually might not be able to see it right now. We are hiking on a rerouted section of the trail. Ranger said a few years back, they had a really heavy rain year and the river basically moved and moved the trail. So. We've just gotten through what I think is the worst of that relocation. And we are uh, making our way on the Wonderland Trail. We just passed the intersection with the Northern Loop Trail and we're headed again toward Ipsit Creek.
okay. What are we doing? We hit a third of the trails just now. That is the first of our trilogy. <laughs> our trilogy. And okay. uh, we're doing what we always do, which is celebrate by hiking some more. So. <laughs> we're gonna have to do a better one than that. <laughs> For real though, these are the first steps of the second, um, third, third of our lifelong adventure. We are hiking down the Carbon River Road Trail, um, out toward a waterfall and out toward Green Lake. And then presumably we might hit a little bit more mileage on it today, as long as it's not just a complete deluge of rain. We're feeling good. Feeling good? Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Yeah. We have a lot in life. We have a lot to be proud of. <laughs> I'm happier now than I was at a quarter. Yeah? I don't know. A quarter was so anticlimactic, even though we were in the valley of, y of Yosemite. It's we were just not having a good day. Yeah, today we've had the rock hop. And scramble across bridges, and insane bridges and rivers. And we've seen fog, and the mountain came out for us. Yeah, pretty good day. That was our present mountain. Yeah, we did it. We got a third. I left my sunglasses in my backpack, so there's a good chance it's not going to rain very much. So our main side hike for today was to get to Green Lake. Along the way, we passed the beautiful Ranger Falls and we are approaching the lake now. Um, All together, this was about a 1200 mile or 1200 foot climb over like 1.8 miles. So really not too bad for Mount Rainier. The Rangers warned us about the climb as if like it would be too steep and it's like you just gave us a backpacking itinerary that includes a 3,000 foot climb in three miles on our last morning so I don't know but the trail was well maintained we are in the Carbon River area of the park which is the rainforesty part of the park I think it's probably raining everywhere today but it's very fitting here to be in the rain Wow. And there is sunlight coming. What a beautiful hike. Seriously, that lake was amazing. Maybe we just had it in the most amazing conditions for it, but it had been raining on our hike up here. It cleared and a very little hint of sun came out. We saw clouds and fog wafting through the trees on the cliffs on either side of it. Um, the water was gorgeous. And the trail up here has just been amazing. It's definitely rainforesty, so lush, very well taken care of. With the side trip to the waterfall, you really couldn't ask for much more. Now we did this hike as part of our backpack and that is a great option if you're staying at Ipset Creek Camp for a night and you wanna do a side trip over here. If for some reason you have a short day in or out from there, you could definitely do it as just a short half or quarter day hike. Um, you can also hike this from the Carbon River entrance. You have to hike down the road for a few miles, I think maybe about four, and then you could start this climb and then head back but altogether that's not going to be all that much elevation gain and it would make a great day hike from this entrance of like a 10 or 12 mile round trip hike 
So definitely a good option if you're only car camping or if you're day tripping from Seattle or somewhere else nearby. Good morning. It's our last day of this second backpack in Mount Rainier. We camped at Ipsit Creek last night and we really had just a super unexpected day yesterday. We were expecting a ton of rain and not very many good views. And instead we got a ton of good views and not very much rain. Um, the rain did come in last night, but we had crawled into our tent really early, kind of anticipating it. So we missed all of the rain. The campground that we were at is a backcountry campground, but it has real pit toilets with toilet paper and hand sanitizer. And it also has bear boxes. So we were able to keep all of our stuff dry overnight. Um, this morning we are climbing, climbing, climbing up the Wonderland Trail from Ipset Creek Camp to Ipset Pass. It's 3,000 feet or so in just about three and a half miles. So yeah, um, I think we're about halfway down with the climb right now and the fog is starting to lift. So we're getting some views of the cliffs around us and we're just gonna keep grinding it out until we get there.
we made it up to Ipset Pass and it is foggy and chilly up here. So we are just moving on back to Mowich Campground. This trail is still the Wonderland, but it gets used a lot by day hikers who are accessing Tolmy Peak. So I'm expecting it to be pretty much as smooth as this for the rest of the way down. Whew, and that's gonna be a wrap on our Spray Park Wonderland backpack with side trips to explore Carbon River Trail. The base loop of this backpack was about 17 miles, but there's a few side trails that I really think you need to take to Spray Falls and to Ipset Falls, and those are gonna add up. So really you should plan on an 18 mile loop. It's possible to do in a day, usual us would have tried. Um, it is, however, a very strenuous day because there's about 5,000 feet of elevation just on that main loop. So that's a pretty big day to fit in mileage and elevation. Um, we did a couple of things that you could explore as day hikes. So you could easily hike up to Spray Park from Mowich Lake and then turn around and you could turn around whenever you want. So you can make that between a six and a 10 mile day, especially on days when the mountain is out. I'm guessing it's gorgeous up there. You could also explore the Carbon River area by parking at the Carbon River entrance. And you can hike in on the road and hike up to Green Lake there pretty easily. I would not recommend coming up the Wonderland Trail and going down and back up Ipset Pass in a day. It's just not really worth the effort because um, the climb is really strenuous. Um, Cataract Creek was a great campground. Ipset Creek was amazing. Um, very luxurious for backcountry. What just happened? We had to 